There were several other early strong women. One of those was Athleta, and Athleta was Belgian, but she also was a woman who sold her beauty and her strength. And so I think maybe Sandwina took some inspiration from that. I don't think she was the strongest strong woman. I think Minerva was much stronger than she was, who worked just a little bit ahead of her. But Minerva was not appealing in the same way that Katie was. When you look at Katie Sandwina, or Minerva, or some of those other women from the past who were exceptionally strong, you'll find that they were strong when they were young women. Sometimes they were a combination of trapeze artists and they did certain strength feats, like bending horseshoes or doing the chair lift where you grab it by the back and your teeth and someone sits in the chair. And of course, it looks like you're holding up the whole chair, but a lot of the weight is because the legs of the chair are on your thighs. There was a lot of this kind of thing before Katie. She was definitely not the first. But she's a legendary figure, and I think she's the legendary figure that most of us in our modern world most identify with because she was very, very strong. She was regarded as a sort of physical model for what women should be, and that was actually said. Bernard McFadden wrote about her in Physical Culture as here's a woman we should all look to. And I think that's what we're drawn to, you know, this idea that you can have great strength and you can sort of allow your body to fulfill its natural limits and be proud of that.